Hello guys, my name is Patrick and welcome to my random game overview of 2016. Before I begin, keep in mind that most of these games did not come out in 2016, but they either recently became popular or I finally got around to playing them. So let's get started. The Crew. The AI in this game is complete trash. Just look at the cars I was up against. The police AI is also pretty messed up, because you can crash going 200 miles per hour right in front of them they won't care, but as soon as you nick the paint on their vehicle they'll go completely ballistic. Garden Warfare 2. So they don't actually own this game, I've just been playing the 10 hour trial they gave me, but since I'm a Garden Warfare 1 veteran, I can honestly say from the bottom of my heart that I do not like this game in any way, shape, or form. There's so much stupid, unnecessary, not to mention unbalanced stuff that I can't get over. I'll just be walking along as a sunflower and then for no reason it will teleport me forward and I get insta-killed by a scientist. Who thought this was a good idea? Rainbow Six Siege. I've been playing this game since the alpha. And for some reason, someone falls off the roof every game when I play on house. Black Ops. In Zombies, I hate the fact that you get two hit downed without Jug, because it makes it harder to risk my life for Carpenters. <laughs> Multiplayer is pretty fun though. Fallout 4. So I probably have the most to say about this game, because I really enjoy it, but there still are plenty of silly things that I have to get off my chest in this video. There are two kids in Diamond City named Nina and Pete, and I've never hated two video game children more in my entire life. Besides the fact that every night at the same time they run around the city in the exact same pattern, they will both randomly walk up to you and say the most annoying things. Nina will walk up to you and tell you she's not supposed to talk to strangers. And Pete will say the most random stuff and then just run away. And I couldn't care less about Paladin and Dance. I just watched him get incinerated by a rocket, but all I care about is the ammo dropped. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Winoni Harris. Oh my god! Are you alright? When I went to replay this game, all I used was the sarcastic option, but I felt bad using it on Virgil because he just kept getting disappointed. Has the uh, <clears throat> reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes. Yes, it has. Fascinating. No. Oh, did you mean that as a joke? Uh. Halo Wars 2 Beta. All I have for this game is this screenshot, but I'm sure you get the idea from all of this. WWE 2016. Just for the record, I'd never buy a game like this, but it was free for this weekend, so I just wanted to try it. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I had no idea what I was doing and got beat up most of the time, but I had some fun playing as John Cena. Rocket League. So I hated this game, but I couldn't stop playing it. There were a lot of fun moments where there was no time left on the clock. We were down by one, and I clutched a tying shot before the ball hit the ground. I wasn't really that great at the game though, so most of the time I just spun around in our goal in hopes to save an incoming shot. Legitness. Battlefield 4. I do still play this game occasionally, but I've recently been playing it more to get ready for Battlefield 1. Even though it's old now, it's still really fun when you get moments like this. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed this overview, remember to leave a like, and I'll see you later. Bye.